the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Conclusion is that insofar as individual or group of individuals hold or are taught, instructed to understand the ethical or the moral life as being contingent on uh, one or more religious narratives, then um, the, super, the divide between what is naturally perceivable and naturally comprehensible and the supernaturalism um, that's, that's foundational or by arbitrary uh, uh, cho personal choice, conviction, or, uh, if there's a way within the profession to uh, ma manifest certain aspects of the faith, then it, the experience of actually seeing some semblance of it can uh, can occur. And so the sensation of, oh, my religion's true, my religion's true, happens by con uh, contrivance and uh, the exploitation of resources. Um, Christopher Hitchens, in his debate with Tony Blair, uh, Tony Blair goes, we recently uh, organized a group session that that, uh, that bridged a religious divide. In Hitchens' reply, he's, he goes, well, where did the religious divide come from? Um, and that answer is religion, you know. So what I find is, is that when, when you're given the choice, you, and you're invited to conform to belief. They try and always make the the alternative choice uh, something ad absurdum. Like um, you think you you're either a Christian or you're going to think you're a, like a robot, or either you're a Christian or you're going to believe you're an animal. Um, And what I think bears out in these uh, re really, in uh, they're, kind, they're kind of insulting al al alternatives. It's like you, it's like you, it's like you've been given an, an, a threatening ultimatum in a sense. Um, if you've been pressed to, you know, weigh up that dichotomy. Um, and um, also, if the, if in the narratives their gods have have commanded filthy things, like um, you know what you might observe to be animal behavior, sharks forcibly copulating with other sharks in oceans. Um, so Attenborough would say that they. They force, forcefully copulate and they don't rape. But um, commandments to, to on how, instructions on how to go about rape and uh, how to uh, afford the costs, financial costs of a rape is all there in the Bible. Uh, and the believer, if the, if the, the good, you know, the, this idea of the, of the good believer and better, the best morals available to a human coming from the, the Bible or, or whatever their, ho their holy book, if that's their claim, then their own arguments are undermined by the, uh, the facts of the, of the scriptural content. So they don't, it, what, what you watch is that the preachers don't want to preach that, um, they don't want to say it, uh, but yet they'll, they won't contest absurd statements that really frightening priests will say like that the, the Bible is, is true in every respect from historically morally um, geographically uh, 
prophetically. Um, yeah, the, the, it's in fact it's absolutely infallible. Whereas you know, if you count a couple of generations back, there was a story about a dude and a dragon, and it was a very King Arthur. Um, Bell. Oh, who knows? Maybe Bell was a chick. But anyway, this Bell and the Dragon book was pu pulled out of the, of the biblical canon. Um, and it has it does get preached under the, the amongst the closing paragraphs of the final book Revelation that not a single word is to be added or removed from the from the um, the totality of the bi biblical canon. So the church is like the the tortoise, but in a version of the tortoise and the hare where the tortoise actually isn't more moral for having won at a slow pace so it sustained itself at a slow pace did it um, Galileo being registered by, uh, by the Vatican as, as a heretic and then it's in the, in, in the early 1990s the, the Catholic Church dropped the heresy charge So that's great. Like his, I guess they informed his genetic descendants, of long dead. So you can be declared heresy, her, heretic, a few your ideas, be dead for a few cent, couple, few centuries, and then the, the Vatican might turn around and go, oh, no, no longer a heretic. So what happened at that point? Did he move from hell? to heaven at the time that the Catholic Church made that proclamation. Um, uh, what it, the, they retracted um, limbo. Uh, if an unbaptized baby d dies before it's baptized, it was once said that the baby goes into limbo, which is a, like a void that's neither heaven nor hell. Uh, but the the separation from God is undesired by the believer. So though it's not a tor an endless torture scenario, nor is it the um, the companionship of and the experience of the un uh, immort unending love of God. So people, are, um, many mothers cried hysterically over that, and then the, the Catholic Church retracts the whole idea and says, no, there is no such place as limbo. Uh, as soon as they ad admit some sort, sort of error, uh, and they, they take f their fucking time. Uh, they're not tackling the, their pedophilic strains uh, very well. Uh, very very slow paced at that one. Uh, I'm convinced that the sn sneering grimace competitiveness between Freemasons and the Catholics is such that they'll even say amongst themselves yeah we our pedos are better than the Catholics pedos for sure they're the better at at, at being pedos you know and the missionaries dispatched by the, uh, the Catholic Church to uh, regions of Af of Africa where where the communities are, are, are ridden with a high risk of AIDS, and there are preachers there saying just whatever you do, don't use condoms, do not use condoms, and they're going to there's not there's not um, there's not many you know television stations to be watching. The only, their only option and the only way for them to get information concerning condoms is from these outspeaking missionaries so um you know uh, how can they do that unless they think that they're to bear out some sort of curse so yeah uh, just it's disgusting
In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Uh, my, my, my inf informal name would, would be, uh, Ask venture off and ask, venture off and ask someone else, pad detective. Uh, there were two, I think. Two parts. One for Gary, one for Roger. Venture off, venture off, ask. Ask Venture Offerer, <laughs> Ped Detective. <laughs> In the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. 